Dear Kathy Mae, Well, today is finally the day you've been waiting for 502 days. But as for me, I've been waiting for 1,535 days. Did you do the math? I'll solve it for you. It was, it was a day, day we, we drank, drank hot boba, boba and, and watched, and a, watched movie. a movie. That day was a day I saw something special in you. I may not have known it then, but every day since, my feelings for you have grown stronger and stronger. Long distance relationships don't work, but at least I didn't think so. All it took was meeting your soulmate. The one who always finds a way to make a bad thing turn good. Someone who always makes time when distance is so far that one person can be hours ahead or behind so much that you have to sacrifice sleep. Just to say good morning, good night, and I love you. Now we're, we'll be able to wake up together, hold hands, embrace, and not use Zoom to binge watch our favorite shows. As we start our future, I promise you this. I promise to always love you, no matter what, to always support you in all things that you do, and to be a loving and faithful husband forever. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, to raise a family, and to see them grow. To pick what color our kids' room will be, what sports team they will be supporting, to always remind you that you need to drink water, and to keep going until we get one of each. Thank you for agreeing to take this journey with me. I know that through the peaks and valleys of life, you'll always be by my side and life will always be Gucci or Goosey as you like to say it. As a great singer Pink Sweat sang, take your time with this love, say so you're mine forever, cause even at my lowest low, just know forever I'll be here with you. I love you forever future Kathy Mibolana Sana Baluka, love Angelo Eric Basa Baluka. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys look great. You look good, Thank lady. you. Ooh, a ring? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wow. Louis Vuitton chain. <laughs> <laughs> to my one and only Angelo, if I were to ever say to my younger self, I'd be married, I would say I would be dreaming, but I am, and I'll be marrying you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for taking, taking care, care of me, me for this long and loving me this hard. Thank you for loving me from such a long distance and loving me the best you can. I could only promise you so much and including the world I live in, but I just want to say God must love me so much to create a soulmate just for me. I love you so much, Angelo, and I can't express so much of me to you. I know you'll look so handsome and you'll be a great husband. We will get through ups and downs, but we will get through it. I'll take care of you when you're hungry when you're sick, and someone who will make you laugh. We will, we will laugh, laugh forever. forever. I love you. Your future wife, Kathy. Every word, every melody I sing. It's and not good. It's like always something.
Kathy May, my little sister, you know, we grew up together. Uh, she and I share a lifetime of memories um, from all the family gatherings, holidays, and um, our, all our travels, and a lot of road trips. Let me talk a little bit about Angelo. Um, my first meeting him, with him was uh, kind of interesting, to say the least. I just remember thinking, man, this guy, he didn't even say thank you or goodbye, and he didn't even share his food. What's up with that? <laughs> but you know, like like any old like good older sister, I gave him a chance. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> so over time I saw that Angelo was just like Kathy Mae. You know, very equally goofy, caring, and very, very patient. He's a good man. And he's the perfect match for my, my little cousin. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark, the guy lucky enough to be one of Angelo's best men today. Our friendship has had its fair share of hilarious incidents. One of which was that time we were stopped by the police for jaywalking. <laughs> call Eric and call Arlene. I believe you've never been told this story yet. <laughs> Fast forward some exciting years and one day I'm visiting Angelo in Sunnyvale. Keeping his usual knack for surprises, Angelo whispers, I have a girlfriend. Angelo, being the sly guy he is, had set up a dinner for me to meet this lucky girl. Enter Kathy Mae. I remember thinking, who is this fascinating woman and what incredible fortitude she must have to date my friend here. Here. <laughs> Turns out she saw the best parts of Angelo, the sides that have bloomed over the years, their love, devotion, and thoughtfulness. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here was Kathy Mae and Angelo had hit the jackpot. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm AJ, Angelo's other best man. So Angelo, Mark, and I have been best friends for almost 25 years now. I actually had to check Mark's speech because we lived the same life together and have the same stories because of how attached to the hip we were. And I'm not kidding about living the same life. We went to college together, didn't graduate college together. We even got our first job together. Kind of. So we all applied at the mall to work as security guards. <laughs> One of the questions they asked us was if we had any special license to help with being a security guard. A normal person, which is me and Mark, we both said no because we don't have any license to do anything. Angelo is not a normal person. This dummy said he had a license to kill. So long story short, me and Mark got the job and we, uh, we ended up walking by Forever 21 because he was working the night shift. But ironically, fast forward to this day and because you're in the Navy, you actually have a license to kill. So joke's on them. Kathy May, when I first heard of your guys' relationship, I didn't meet you. But automatically, I had my doubts. It had nothing to do with you and everything to do with Angelo. <laughs> he truly is one of a kind, and I knew it would take nothing short of a miracle to find someone who could tame this wild beast of a man. Hi, 
everyone. I'm Crystal. I am Kathy May's older sister and a matron of honor. Angelo, when she told me about you, my goodness, she was so serious. Crystal, Crystal, I guess, I guess I'm dating you. I guess I'm dating someone. And I go, okay, the overprotective sister kicked in, right? I was like, all right, is he nice to you? Yes. Does he take care of you? Does he, you know, does he open the door for you, right? He has to be a gentleman. He does all of that stuff. And she just said, he's perfect. And today proves that. You're both celebrating such a wondrous occasion because your relationship is perfect. gathered in the presence of our Lord God to join Brother Angelo Eric Baluca and Sister Kathy May Sana in holy matrimony. I, Angelo Eric Baluca, take you, Kathy May Sana, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Kathy May Sana, accept you, Angelo Eric Baluca, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Angelo and Kathy May, congratulations. <laughs> and we're so happy that Angelo found the one. <laughs> we love you both. <laughs> Thank you. That was so articulate. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy May, we're so happy that you're a part of our family. And we love you so, so much. And my brother, ever since we were young, my parents, they used to work during the day and my dad would work swing shift. And um, when we were younger, me and my brother only about a year apart, but my brother took care of me. So I just want to let you know that no matter where you two go, you will always be so loved by my brother. And you'll always have a home with us in Seattle and you can always come home to us anytime. We love you so, so much. My story about Kuya is that, like we AJ said, um, Kuya used to work at Forever 21 at the night shift. And Kuya, he would come home from Forever 21 at like 2 a.m. because they have to like clean the store for the next day. And when I would wake up late, I'd call my dad and be like, Dad, I don't want to wake up Kuya. He's going to be so mad when I ask him if he could take me to school. And so I would like slowly open his door and I'd be like, Kuya, can you take me to school? <laughs> and he'd be like dead asleep like a rock and he'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then we would have like a dead silent ride to school. So I guess this is my time to thank you for taking me to school. Uh, <laughs> but yes, we're so happy that Ata Kathy May that you're in our family now and I feel like you've already been in our family for so long already. Angela uh, has been, he grew up as a faithful um, member of the church, so thank you for that. But, he had some negatives also. <laughs> he loved ice cream. He loves everything sweet. So as a result, 
when he was 10, or I think he was 9 or 10 years old, Angela, right? Oh, no. We had, I mean, it was so bad. We had to bring him to the orthodontist. But, you know, this is the time that Kathy Mae went in my mind. You know how? Because I told myself, who in the hell is going to marry this guy? So even when Angela was nine years old, we were already thinking of being Kathy Mae. Because we said, you know, Angela needed to meet somebody, and that was you. In seriousness, okay, let me be serious a little bit. To our son Angelo and his wonderful wife, today is the day that I will always cherish. Your love for each other is a true testament to the power of commitment and dedication, and I am honored to be part of your celebration. May your marriage be filled with endless joy, love, and companionship. And as your father, I am proud of the man you have become, Angelo. And I know that you will continue to bring happiness to each other's lives for many years to come. And I'll be remiss not to mention our Balay, Sister Ernestina, and your late father, Oscar. I thank them for raising a wonderful daughter. A loving and kind daughter. So I thank them from the bottom of my heart. And I know your late father, Oscar, is not here tonight. But I promise you, and I want to say this on behalf of your dad, he would be so proud of you tonight. He would be so appreciative of Angelo, and he would support you both, and he's so happy and I know I can't replace your dad. But I'll do my best. I love you both. Thank you. Let's raise our glasses. Let's raise our glass to the happy couple and wish them a lifetime of love and happiness. Closing, I have a little surprise for you. You remember when dad would always ask us to print family photos? And he would always want to frame it and put it in his room. So he didn't get a chance to meet these new wonderful men in our life, Angela and my husband, Miles. So here is a new family portrait with Angelo and Miles, you, me, and mom. I love you both. Cheers, Mr. and Mrs. Beluka.